former Royal Marine from Dorset says he feels let down by the system after a Polish man who attacked him avoided deportation. Nigel Leppington, who is 36, was attacked in Weymouth after going to the aid of his neighbour in 2011. The judge recommended Arka Vazny should be deported after serving his jail sentence, but a tribunal ruled that breached his human rights. Mr Leppington discovered by accident that his assailant was still living in Weymouth. Lawrence Herdman reports. Surprised I survived that night, but I think it's because of my, my fitness and my military training. It's probably what got me through. Nigel Leppington, a soldier who fought for his country in Iraq, still fighting for his rights as a victim after a Good Samaritan act went dramatically wrong. Nigel Leppington left his home to help a neighbour who was being attacked. Suddenly, the four men viciously assaulted the military veteran during a prolonged assault. The gang went to prison and a judge recommended deportation, but the road to justice had an unexpected twist. One of the gang appealed against his removal from Britain. Arka Vazny successfully claimed his right to private and family life under European law. He told a national newspaper it was because he had a British-born son. Nigel Leppington only discovered Vazny was back in Weymouth when he saw him in the local shop. It's very unsettling knowing that one of the fellas is still here. You know, he's come back to this town after committing, a, and it was a horrendous crime, what he did. Nigel's father has called on the Prime Minister to review the case. I think the human rights is abused by the, in this case, Eastern Europeans, who seem to have a fetish for surmounting it, you know, getting away with things. And it's about time the system bulked up and got real. The Home Office say they can't comment on individual cases, but said the law had been changed so criminals can be deported before any appeal is heard. Their statement added, New powers in the Immigration Act, which we introduced, have also cut the number of grounds on which criminals can appeal deportation in the courts, speeding up removal so that more are deported before the end of their sentences. In this case, the judge could only recommend deportation and there is an appeal process involving an independent panel. British citizens convicted of criminal offences would serve their sentence with no additional sanction. The Leppington family acknowledged the law has been followed, but argued the system is biased in favour of the criminal. There should be more rights for victims, that's for sure. We should hear the victim more. Nigel Leppington ending that report by Lawrence Herdman.